Well, you might not know it from looking at it, but the Niagara River is extremely dangerous, and we saw those dangers take a tragic turn yesterday. Good evening. I'm Mary Alice Demler. And good evening, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. As we learn more about the two men who drowned, there is a strong warning tonight to stay out of the water and some suggestions to try to prevent this from ever happening again. Our Steve Brown has a story for us tonight. There are parts of the Niagara River which can seem peaceful, but don't be fooled. It, it's very deceptive, especially where yesterday's incident occurred. Just off Broderick Park is where two Buffalo men drowned yesterday. They've been identified as 29 year old Marlo Guthrie and 46 year old Scott Vader. A river current of one knot is considered fast. Average speed for this section of the Niagara, four knots. And there were plenty of witnesses here yesterday who sadly witnessed the strength of that river current. Everybody was screaming. There was about six people around us who had seen the whole thing. Um, everybody was calling 911. While it is the job of the Buffalo Police Underwater Recovery Team to wade into the Niagara when necessary, it is with the recognition that it is not safe for them either. It is very dangerous and it's something that's very unique to Buffalo. But, you know, the men and women on that dive team, there's just, there's no questions asked. When it's time to go to work, it's time to go to work. Today, like yesterday, the park was busy. This is a popular place for fishing or just enjoying a summer day. And we did hear suggestions that might make the park safer. One frequent visitor here thinks ladders on the river break wall would be a good idea. If in fact you were able to be so lucky to swim well to get to that, then you could possibly pull yourself back up and then of course maintain safety. Now, there are signs clearly marking that there's swift water here in the Niagara and there is no swimming allowed. Now, is there new equipment being considered? The city of Buffalo says it is taking a look at what we used to call an old firebox. Remember those break glass in case of an emergency? Only this version would have a flotation ring and a rope in it and breaking the glass would signal alarms to police and fire. Jeffrey Rinaldo, the captain from the Buffalo Police Department who spoke with us today, said the city is taking a look at how that might fit in along Buffalo's expansive waterfront. Coming up at six, there is another unique body of water here in the city of Buffalo that the police department is also concerned about this summer. I'll have that story coming up tonight at six. Reporting live in Broderick Park, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.